The T-14 armor represents the pinnacle of Russian tank engineering and a bold step into the future of armored warfare. Developed by Ural Vagonzavod, this next-generation main battle tank showcases a revolutionary design that moves away from traditional layouts and adopts advanced technologies that could redefine how tanks operate on the modern battlefield. The T-14 made its first public appearance during the 2015 Victory Day Parade in Moscow, instantly capturing the attention of military analysts worldwide. It stands as a symbol of Russia's determination to maintain its dominance in tank innovation, blending unmatched protection, mobility, and firepower into a single powerful machine. Externally, the T-14 Armata has a distinct and futuristic appearance, a far cry from the older Soviet designs like the T-72 or T-90. It features an angular, stealth-inspired profile with composite armor plating that is both modern and menacing. The tank sits on the new Armitage Universal Combat Platform, a modular base that can be used for different armored vehicles, such as infantry fighting vehicles and recovery vehicles. The T-14's hull is longer and slightly wider than earlier Russian tanks, giving it a more balanced and stable structure. Its unmanned turret is one of the most striking elements, housing the main armament remotely while keeping the three crew members safely inside an armored capsule in the hull. This design not only enhances crew survivability but also marks a major shift in how tanks are engineered. The exterior also incorporates an active protection system called Afghanit which is designed to intercept and destroy incoming anti-tank missiles or projectiles before they can hit the tank. The system uses a network of radar sensors and launchers placed around the turret to provide 360-degree defense. Additionally, the tank's armor is made of composite materials combined with reactive armor blocks, offering high resistance to kinetic and chemical energy penetrators. Even the lower hull and engine compartment are heavily shielded, making the T-14 one of the most protected tanks in the world. Its low radar signature and infrared suppression systems also make it harder for enemies to detect or target accurately. Inside, the T-14 armor 2 is just as advanced as its exterior suggests. The crew compartment is entirely isolated from the ammunition storage a design approach inspired by Western tanks like the M1A2 Abrams but taken even further. The three crew members are Commander, Gunner, and Driver sit side by side in the front hull behind reinforced armor, surrounded by multiple layers of protection. Instead of traditional periscopes, the crew relies on advanced cameras, sensors, and digital displays that provide a full 360-degree view of the battlefield. This setup gives the T-14 excellent situational awareness even without a physical line of sight, a capability few tanks possess today. The T-14's firepower comes from its 125mm smoothbore to a 82 1M cannon, which is fully automated and capable of firing a wide variety of ammunition types, including armor-piercing, high-explosive, and guided missiles. The autoloader can hold around 45 rounds, and the gun's advanced stabilization allows accurate firing even while the tank is moving at high speeds. Russia has also discussed plans for a future version of the T-14 that could be equipped with an even more powerful 152mm cannon, which would surpass any main gun currently used by NATO tanks. Supporting the main gun are secondary weapons like a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun and a remote-controlled 12.7mm heavy machine gun, both integrated into the unmanned turret system. Performance-wise, the T-14 is powered by a 1,500 horsepower A85 3A turbo diesel engine, providing impressive speed and mobility for its weight class. The tank can reach speeds of up to 80 km per hour on roads and around 50 km per hour off-road. Its suspension system is advanced and adaptive, allowing it to handle rough terrains with ease and maintain firing stability. 
Despite weighing around 55 tons, the Armata's power-to-weight ratio ensures excellent acceleration and agility, comparable or even superior to Western counterparts. Its operational range is about 500 km, supported by auxiliary fuel tanks and efficient fuel consumption for long-distance missions. In terms of digital systems, the T-14 Armour II is equipped with a modern battle management system that links it to other armoured vehicles, drones, and command centres. This integration allows real-time data sharing, improving coordination and tactical decision-making on the battlefield. The tank's onboard computer assists the crew in target tracking, threat detection, and navigation, effectively turning the T-14 into a smart tank. Some versions are even rumored to include semi-autonomous or remote-controlled operation capabilities, hinting at future developments toward unmanned armored warfare. However, Despite its technological edge, the T-14 Armata has faced challenges in production and deployment. Its high cost and complex manufacturing process have limited mass production, and Russia has prioritized upgrades to existing T-72B3 and T-90M tanks for cost effectiveness. Still, the T-14 continues to serve as a valuable test platform for advanced technologies that may later be integrated into other vehicles. Its design philosophy centered on crew safety, automation, and networked warfare represents the future of tank development not only for Russia but for the entire world. The T-14 has also become a symbol of national pride and a statement of military strength. For Russia, it showcases the capability to produce a tank that competes with or even surpasses Western main battle tanks in several areas. Internationally, it has drawn interest from countries seeking next-generation armored solutions, though export versions are expected to be less advanced than Russia's domestic model. Whether deployed in large numbers or used as a limited elite force, the T-14 Armata sets a new benchmark for modern armored warfare. In summary, the T-14 Armata is more than just a tank it is a technological milestone. Combining cutting-edge protection, automated systems, and digital warfare integration, it demonstrates how modern combat vehicles are evolving toward greater survivability and intelligence. Though production numbers remain low, its influence on future tank designs is undeniable. The T-14 Armata approves that Russia's armored warfare innovation remains alive and formidable ready to shape the future battlefield with power, precision, and protection unlike anything seen before.